Hello everybody, this is Aaron Kastangway here, and I want to talk to you about the Money in the Bank pay-per-view, which is coming up this Sunday, June 29th. Now, I know what the rumor mills were saying, and I'm just chiming in with my idea. Now, everybody's saying, all the rumor mills are saying that it's going to be Cena that's going to come out with the title, and then he's going to go on to SummerSlam, where he's going to eventually lose it to Brock Lesnar. I'm going to tell you, that's going to go over just about as much as Brock Lesnar beating the streak. But then again, Paul Heyman will be like, my client, Brock Lesnar, beat John Cena. It doesn't really go over. But then again, hey. And another thing we got to talk about is uh, the fact that Wade Barrett's out. He's out with an injury thanks to Jack Swagger, of all people. Who would think that Jack Swagger would go out there and hurt people? But this is the second time he's done it. He did it to Ziggler. He did it. He did it to Barrett. Now this is a question I posed to WWE. WWE should be thinking, okay, he's injured somebody twice. Should we get rid of him? I mean, let's face it, Jack Swagger, not only he's marginal in the ring, and he needs Zeb Coulter, like really needs him, because Jack can't talk. But, uh, what's the point? I mean, after after injuring, injuring Ziggler, eh, okay. But then you injure Wade Barrett. Come on, you injure two high-profile guys. But, um, that's what I think about Ziggler, uh, Swagger. I think, I think they need to get rid of him. And But for Money in the Bank, I really don't, if they do push Cena to it, because uh, God knows WWE wants a guy to break Ric Flair's title reign streak. His title reign record. And they, it's just they want a WWE guy to do it. I mean. That's because WWE always wants one of their guys to do something. And be the best at it. It's almost like, yeah, you're our guy, so you're going to do it. I mean, it's getting to the point in WWE, it's really bad, because you ask Joe Schmo about any, uh, any, you ask somebody about wrestling, they automatically think that oh, WWE is the only thing in, the, in town. I mean, I went, and, uh, I went and spent the money on the Ring of Honor pay-per-view, and now... Don't get me wrong, I enjoy WWE pay-per-views, I enjoy TNA pay-per-views, but watching the Ring of Honor pay-per-view was the only time in a long time that I was actually emotionally invested in the winner of the match. I mean, I was counting with the referee, I was, I was getting up out of my seat, I was, I was, I was marking out in that match, <laughs> severely. But, here's the thing. What if they don't push Cena? What if if Cena takes another back step? It wouldn't bother me. I mean, I wouldn't mind seeing Orton win, but I'm an Orton fan. That's me. I can't really say nothing about that. I personally, my personal feeling is about certain things in WWE, whether... They push Orton, whether they, whether CM Punk comes back. These are things that I would like to see. But I'm not going to 
begrudge WWE if they don't do it. WWE is a multi-billion dollar business. Even though sometimes they don't get get the push right or get the things right, they do know what they're doing. I personally would like to see someone new. I mean, you got Roman Reigns, you got Cesaro, you got Wade, you got Bray Wyatt. One of those guys. Put those guys over. I mean, I want to see someone new win. That's what I want to see. I'm pretty sure that that's what 99% of the people out there want to see. So, let's see what happens. I mean, hey, this has been my opinion. This has been my uh, thoughts on Money in the Bank. So, if you guys agree with me, hey, you, you agree. If not, hey, but anyway, this has been my opinion, and that's my opinion, and I'm entitled to, entitled to my opinion, so have a good night.